morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Another beautiful day that God gave us. Amen. Hope you've already prayed. If not, we ask to understand your prayers this morning. But if you find your place, 2 Timothy chapter 2. I'm going to start reading at verse 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 19. Scripture says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. I would ask if you would bow your heads. Lord, again, we thank you, Father, for your precious word. Yes. Father, above all, thank you for Christ. Yes. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you put the, the words in our mouth that need said. Yes. Father, again, give understanding to those that hear them today, yes. Father. Lord, if there be a need, if there be a burden, it be brought to you. Father, again, uh, just guide us with what needs said. And we thank you, we praise you, and we ask these things in Christ's name. And amen. 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 God knows the difference between China and Chinette. God knows the difference between China and Chinette. Okay? Uh, most of you probably know Chinette's that that good paper plates, Becky. Okay, that's uh, that's what we use. Okay, when we have homecoming, when we have the Christmas dinner, we we don't give you all the cheap stuff, right? Cheryl's very diligent in going to make sure that you have the the best uh, Chinette. Okay, but folks, there's a difference between China and there's a difference between Chinette. China's the real stuff, Jessica. Okay, uh, Chinette is an imitation. Chinette is something that just will do in the moment. Okay, folks, listen. God knows the difference between China and Chinette yeah. as far as your spiritual life. That's right. Goes, okay, but He says, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are His. Uh, folks, for something to be solid. It has to have a, a, a solid base. Yes. Okay. That's right. And folks, listen. If your base isn't Christ, yeah. That's right. then it's going to fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's right. going to crumble. Okay. Yes. Uh, no matter how long you might think it's going to last, mm -hmm. if Christ isn't your base, it's going to crumble. Okay. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians three eleven. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Folks, listen, uh, you don't build the foundation for your house on shifting sand. Right. You don't build the, the foundation for a 14-story uh, skyscraper mm -hmm. yeah. on unsteady ground. You're going to build it on a rock. You're going to build it on something solid. Folks, listen, if you're wanting to be true China, you better have a solid base. Amen. And that base has to be Christ. Amen. Okay? Can't be mommy or daddy. No. Can't be the church. Mm -hmm. Can't be the preacher. That's right. Because guess what? All those are going to fade. That's right. Amen. Hardly all those are going to pass away. But the rock is what's going to be there regardless. You have to have a solid base. Okay? It said that and having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Yes, that's right. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Uh, folks, let me guarantee you, uh, even when he was in his full mind, Bill, Joe Biden didn't know all of his contributors. That's right. Yeah. Trump doesn't know all of his contributors. That's right. Uh, folks, listen. There are several of us in here that are state employees. Let me assure you, Diamond Jim, Rick, he doesn't know 
<laughs> Doug McClun's name. He doesn't know Jacob Rhodes' name. He don't know Peggy McClun's name. Okay? Now, if they was on a list, Carlos, yeah, they're one of mine, but he doesn't know us. That's right. But here's the difference. says, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Amen. And that's what why the foundation stands short. Because, Mary, there's no pretenders. He knows who's real, right. and he knows who's Amen. fake. Yes. Okay? Uh, John 10, 14, I believe. He says, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep and are known of mine. Mm -hmm. Folks, the, the shepherd knows his sheep. At the beginning of that chapter, uh, around verse 2, uh, it says, the, the good shepherd standeth by the door, and the porter openeth up unto him. And the sheep hear his voice. Yeah. And he calls his own sheep by name. Yes. And leadeth, leadeth them out. Right. Folks, listen. You're not just a number to God. Right. Amen. You're not just a number to Jesus. It said he called them out by name. Mm -hmm. Called them out by name. Folks, listen. Uh, there are very few people that can go and with a flock of 50 sheep, Bill, could say, okay, this is Sally, and this is Fred, and this is Homer, and this is uh, George, and yeah. Phyllis, or whatever. Yeah. But this is what God's able to do. Yeah. <laughs> you're not just a name. You're not just a face in the crowd. You're his. Amen. And he calls you by name. Yes. Well, Doug, I don't believe that. Well, read the book. Yes, right. <laughs> read the book. <laughs> First Samuel. Right? When Samuel's asleep, what does he do? He calls him out by name. Yes, yes. That's right. Multiple times, Becky. It says, listen, Samuel. Yeah. Doesn't say, hey, boy. No, that's right. Doesn't say, hey, young. And he says, listen, Samuel. Yes. Luke 19, I believe. When he's going down to Jericho, and he passes by and he sees this little guy up in a tree. He doesn't say, hey, you odd creature. <laughs> hey, you foolish man. And what does he say? He says, Zacchaeus. That's right. Amen. Come down. Make haste. For today I must abide at thy house. Acts 9. Right on the road to Damascus. Mm -hmm. yeah. He doesn't say, listen, you hypocrite. <laughs> Listen, you mean old guy. Yeah. Mary, what does he say? He says, Saul, Saul, yeah. why persecutest thou me? Amen. Folks, listen. Uh, Christ knows your name before you come to him. Yes. <laughs> he knows your name after you come to That's him. That's right. That's why he called Saul out by name. He said, listen, Saul, why are you doing this to me? Yeah. Even when nobody else is, can, can provide you comfort, even when nobody else, in spite of their best efforts, okay? And folks, we say this all the time at the funeral home. Listen, there's nothing that I can do for you at that point, Rick. That's right. There's nothing that I can say that's going to make it better. Right. There's nothing that I can say that's going to change it. But folks, the shepherd, when he talks, yeah. guess what? There's comfort. Yes, there. amen. After uh, Mary Magdalene had... had uh, Went in and seen that he wasn't there. You remember that he he, he passed by her yeah. and she thought he was the gardener. That's right. And said, well, where did you take him? Listen, I'll go get him if you just tell me where he is. And it's not until, what does he do? Yeah. He says, Mary. That's right. Forget all this other stuff. Listen, Mary, yeah. it's me. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Folks, listen, the Lord knows them that are his. That's right. Amen. The Lord knows it. He knows what's real China and He knows what's China. That's right. Amen. And folks, listen, there's a lot of China in churches. Yes, amen. Amen. There's a lot of China in churches. Yeah. Doug, you're talking about people again. <laughs> well, that's all right. Matthew gives me permission. <laughs> Matthew 7 21. It says, Not everyone that saith right. come unto me, Lord, amen. Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But they that do the will of my Father which is in them. Yes. For many in that day will say, Lord, 
Uh, did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name have done many wonderful works? Folks, listen, there are all kinds of church people. There are all kinds of churches yeah. that guess what? They do wonderful work. Sure, sure. They run charities. Yeah. They feed the hungry. Yeah. Yeah. They, they uh, do all these things. Yeah. But guess what? They said, listen, have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? He says, then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Right. Amen. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Yeah. Folks, listen, there is a difference in profession yes. and possession. Yeah. Amen. Yes, amen. Folks, if you don't have possession yes. of the Holy Spirit, then guess what? It does no use to profess. That's right. Amen. It does no use to claim that I'm a Christian. Because mm -hmm. Mary, if there's nothing inside here, yeah. right. you're just empty. Amen. Amen. Just empty. Empty words. It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. But he says, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Okay? And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Right. right. So listen, he knows the real thing. He knows the true China. You know why? Because they depart from iniquity. Yeah, right. What does that mean? They act like him. Yeah. They try to follow his example. First right. Peter two twenty one, I believe, says, uh, "For whereunto ye were, were also called, yeah. for Christ also having suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow in his in his steps, mm -hmm. that we should follow in his steps." Folks, I don't want people to come and have to tell Holden, you know what, you're just like Doug. Okay? He's probably saying, well, I don't want people to say that either. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, there are all kinds of people back home that they call me Little Harley after my grandpa Dorsey. Now, to me, that's a compliment. But you know why it's a compliment? Not because it was my grandpa, Lillian but because of the walk that he had. Because he was a godly man. Because people saw Christ in him. That's the example that I want. Listen, don't look at me as Harley's grandson. Look at me as a son of God. Right, right. Amen. Amen. But we should strive to guess what? To follow his steps. That's right, amen. He set an example. Okay, he set an example. First uh, John two six, he that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. That's right. Listen, if I call myself a Christian, yeah. I should act like Christ. That's right. Amen. If I if I call myself a Christian, then guess what? I probably should go where he went. Well, where did he go? Yeah, he went Bless to church. Amen. Amen. Luke 4, 16 said that when he returned unto Nazareth, where he had grown up, as his custom was, he entered into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. So as his custom was, as his practice, as his routine was, Jessica, when it was God's day, guess where he was? In God's house. And not only Mary was he in church, he didn't just show up. He didn't just take up a spot on the pew, but said he stood up to read. Amen. In other words, he went to church and took part. Amen. That's right. Amen. Folks, listen, I would rather have 20 people that are here yes. that are taking part yes. spiritually in right. the service than Mary to have a thousand yeah. and 700 of them. Yes. Or just there. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But we ought to walk as he walked. Our custom should be as his custom. What was his custom? To be in God's house. Yes. To be there for a reason. He said, let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from the next one. <laughs> okay. But again, profession doesn't mean possession. That's right. Amen. And folks, here, here's the dangerous thing. 
when your friends and loved ones start saying, well, I'm okay, and you start stroking them like the puppy, and you start stroking them like the cat, then Jessica, we've created a false sense of security. That's right. Amen. 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 Listen, it's not your standard. Mm -hmm. That's right. Harley, it's not Doug's standard. That's right. Amen. It's his standard. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. But he that do the will of, the, of my father, mm -hmm. he will be the one that's in heaven. She will be the one. That's, that's right. That's right. Okay. But folks, listen. You, you got to decide, are you China or are you China? Yes, that's right. Are you China or are you China? He says, but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but of wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Folks, listen. Your goal, your prayer, just like Bill had, had read with Solomon's prayer. Yeah. You know what our prayer should be? Lord, make me what you need, yeah, that's right. not what I want. That's right. Amen. Lord, you make me what you need, yeah. not what I want. Okay? Uh, Isaiah 64, 8, I believe. Uh, he says, Behold, thou art our Father. We are the clay, and thou yes. art our potter. For we are all the work of thine hand. Isaiah said, Listen, we're just a lump of clay. And Lord, you're the potter. Mm -hmm. You make us and form us into whatever it is that you need. Okay? And he repeats this in multiple places. Okay? Uh, Jeremiah 18, I believe. He tells Jeremiah, listen, you go down to the potter's house and you observe. And it said that he went to the potter's house and that the, the potter was making something and it was marred in his hand. Whatever it was, Becky, a bowl or a cup or whatever, whatever it started out to be, and you all have seen how a potter works on the, the mud wheel or whatever. Anyway, it just collapsed. It was more in his hand. Said, so he began to make something else out of it. Mike, he didn't just quit. <laughs> he didn't just give up and say, well, all's lost. Just throw that out. Said that he made something else. And he said that the Lord said to him, listen, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hands, O Israel, thou art in my hands. That's right. Amen. Folks, listen. You're in the potter's hands. Yes. He is the one that forms us. He is the one that makes us what we need to be. Uh, Romans 8.21, I believe. See, folks, not only in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul says the same thing. He says, Behold, hath the potter not power over the clay to, to make it into whatsoever he will, uh, whether it be a vessel of unto honor or to dishonor? Folks, listen. God can form and make us into whatever he needs. That's right. Amen. But here's the problem. A lot of people say, Andy, they say, I want to be this. Mm -hmm. I want to be that. That's right. Harley, let me assure you, Doug never said, I want to be a preacher. Right. Bless him. I, I guarantee you most missionaries never said, you know what, I want to go into deepest, darkest Africa That's right. <laughs> and have the possibility that one of these guys is going to come out and uh, whack my head off one day. Folks, the clay lets the potter right. form into what he needs. That's right. The clay lets the potter form into what he needs. And, and folks, if you're wanting to be successful, you got to let yourself be formed. He can make things that seem like nothing into something. Yeah, that's right. Okay? He took a man that was a stutterer. That by his own confession in Exodus 3, Bill said, Lord, listen, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm slow of speech. Don't send me. And yet he, he delivers the law through Moses. Yeah, that's right. Okay? He takes a shepherd and turns him into the king right. of his people Amen. in David. That's right. He takes a wheat farmer in Gideon That's right. and turns him into a uh, military yeah. general. That's right. He takes Peter 
and Andrew and James and John and takes mere fishermen yeah. and turns them into fishers of men. That's right, amen. Folks, if he has not done this with everybody else, do you not think he'll take and make you into what he wants? Yeah, that's right, amen, amen. But here's the problem, Bill. Everybody wants to be that nice platter that you set out at Thanksgiving. Mary, those are pretty. I'm sure everybody's got one. But you know the thing about that? You only use it once a year. Yeah. Yeah. Twice a year at best. That's right. Folks, you would be of more use if you'd be one of them old coffee cups. <laughs> right? Because yeah. you know what? Every day, yeah. that right. coffee cup's getting used. Folks, you'd be of more use if you was a gravy boat. Yeah. You know why? Because unless you're weird like my son here, everybody likes gravy on their potatoes. Thing. I, mean, I don't know what's wrong with him, but a gravy boat gets used. You'd be of more use if you were a butter dish. How often do you, do you use butter at your house? Yeah. Folks, I get that fine china looks good. But you need to be the vessel that God wants you to be. Amen. Amen. You need to be the vessel that he can use. Yes. That's what he told Ananias again in Acts chapter 9 when he tells yeah. him to go get Saul. He says, listen, are you sure about this? He said, uh, go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. Amen. That's right. And must bear my name before the Gentiles and kings yeah. and children of, of Israel. That's right. And I will show him how great things he must suffer yeah. for my name's sake. Amen. He did. Folks, listen. As a Christian, that should be our goal. Is, you know what? I want to be used. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be seen. I want to be used. Right. Sandy, there are people that they would look and they would uh, go to, to grandma or moms or whoever's stuff after they die and they say oh I want this and I want that and I want that my most precious possession of my grandma McClunge you know what it is Bill it's an old tin cup I think we even used it in a play here yeah. once Jonathan's worthless I could go buy a better one today but you know what it's precious to me Sandy that's right you know why? Because every Sunday when we would go to Grandma McClun's, guess what? I'd drink out of that cup. I'd drink out of that cup. It was something that was used, Carlos. It wasn't something that was just put on a display case. Folks, listen. If you're just wanting to be on a display case, you're not being used. That's right. Amen. But if it's something that, guess what, it, it is worn, that has been handled, that other people have got something out of it. Again, yeah, there, there are platters that are nice and pretty. And there are uh, fancy bowls and whatever that are nice and pretty. But uh, again, Bill, when my grandma Dorsey died, uh, the thing that was on my mind wasn't, wasn't all these things. She had a lot of fancy glass stuff. Well, even for their 50th anniversary, they had all kinds of people that got them all these nice sets and stuff. You know what Doug's favorite thing was? A candy dish. Danny made like a chicken. Can you believe, old Doug, the way I feel about birds? <laughs> but you know why that candy dish was precious? Just an old plain white one. You all probably got one of them. But Jessica, it had stuff in it that Grandma made. Folks, listen. If you're a vessel of God, there should be something in you. Amen. That other people can get something out of. That's right. It may not be pretty. It may not be fancy. But is it something that carries something to someone else? Folks, you should be carrying something to someone else said that uh, he talked about a vessel of honor and some to dishonor. Right, right. If a man therefore
purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Meet for the master's use. Folks, listen. You not only need to be a vessel, you need to be a clean vessel. Yeah, right, right. Bless him. Chinette's good, but Bill, you can only use it a couple times. Right, eventually it's going to get salty. Even Chinette, eventually it's going to wear down and break. That's right. Yes. And unlike that, that other china, unlike those other dishes, guess what? Those things aren't going to come out. Right. It's just fancy paper. Yeah. yeah. Folks, you don't want to just be fancy paper. Right. That's right. Because, well, China, that, that's good stuff. <laughs> it is, but you know what it is? It's disposable. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's just going to be thrown away. That's right. It's going to be forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Folks, wouldn't that be sad if, if that's the testimony that, that you have? Yeah. I'm just going to be forgotten about. There wasn't anything special. I was just disposable. Okay. Folks, listen. Without Christ, that's exactly what you are. Amen. That's right. You're just disposable. That's right. You're just the temporary uh, thing. Okay. That's why he knows the difference between China and China. But folks, listen. Even the vessels, they got to be clean, Bill. Yeah, that's right. Now, I know as much as you like coffee, I'm sure that you make Sandy wash that cup every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> Folks, none of you go home and, and use the same fork all week. That's right. right? Some of you are gagging right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You keep it clean. Mm -hmm. Mary, we keep those bowls clean. You keep your silverware clean. Folks, listen. We have to keep ourselves Amen. clean. That's right. That's right. Amen. Again, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, I think, around verse 16, somewhere in there. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Him that defileth, thank you, him that defileth the temple of God, God will destroy. Right. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Amen. Folks, listen. If you say that you're a Christian, guess what? Everywhere you go, you take God with you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Harley, guess what? I'm pretty sure God don't want me taking him down to the casino or down to cross lanes. I'm pretty sure that God don't want me uh, taking him into the bar down on uh, Summer Street. I'm pretty sure that God doesn't want me uh, taking him uh, to the neighbor's house, to a strange woman's bedroom, That's right. That's to whatever. Well, Doug, of course he don't. Listen, folks, he wants us to have a clean vessel. Amen. Amen. Because guess what? He dwells within this vessel. Right. Amen. He, he kind of repeats the same thing in uh, the sixth chapter of 1 Corinthians. Uh, know you not? That your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have received of God, and ye are not your own, but are bought with a price. Amen. Folks, listen. If the Holy Ghost dwells within you, this temple should stay clean. It should stay clean. The vessel should stay clean. God doesn't want to reside in a dirty house. That's right. Now, folks, listen. We, we accept staying in a dirty house, okay? All of us, except when company comes back. Then we, like, shove the dirt under the rug and throw <laughs> stuff in the closet and whatever. <laughs> folks, listen. God doesn't want to dwell in a dirty house, Mike. Amen. Amen. He wants a clean vessel to be in. And guess what? That's up to you. That's up to you. Uh, are you going to be China? Right, right. Or are you going to be China? Amen. Are you going to be something that lasts? Are you going to be something that's used? Or are you just going to be something that's one and done? Yeah, right. And then so, folks, there are people that they're content, Mary, on being China. Yeah. And again, China's good, but <laughs> guess what? At the end of the picnic, 
right. it's still waddled up. Yes. At the end of the meal, it's still thrown away. Right. We don't recycle. China. Mm -hmm. Folks, God isn't going to recycle China. Mm -hmm. You're either the real thing. That's right. Or you're just pretend. Amen. You're just pretend. Now again, China. Comparatively, that's good. But folks, you need to be a solid vessel yes. on a solid foundation. If well, it's just good enough for now. Danny, I love Hustons Pizza. I despise their silverware. <laughs> you know why? Because it's cheap. It soaks through. You're never going to get a sponsorship from Hussins here, are you? <laughs> As we said, we only have one sponsor for this show, and it ain't Hussins, okay? Amen. But, folks, that's what they do. Becky, that's why they, they can afford to be in business, because you know what? They've got good pizza. Yeah. They've got cheap other stuff. Yeah. Folks, listen. If you're a Christian, you have the best. Do you not want it to be in the best vessel that it can be? That's right. But Mary, there's people, you know what? This is good enough. This is good enough. Folks, God knows the difference between China Amen. and China. Amen. What are you today? Yes. Are you China or are you China? That's right. Danny, come get us a song. Folks, if you have a need today, we'd ask you to come. The altar's open. So as he gets his song, if everybody would stand. Page 32. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and die. With his manna he doth feed, and supplies our every need. Hold this sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, turn the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and die. The disciples came to land, thus obeying Christ's command. For the master called unto them, come and die. There they found their heart's desire, bread and fish upon the fire. Thus he satisfies the hungry every time. Come and dine, the master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, turn the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and dine. Soon the lamb will take his bride to be ever at his side. All the hosts of heaven will assemble thee. Oh, will be a glorious sight, all the saints in spotless white, and with Jesus they will feast eternally. Come and dine, the Master calleth, come and dine. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude, Turn the water into wine, to the hungry call us now, come and dine. Amen. All right, all hearts and minds free. <coughs> Announcements, service night, 6 o'clock, everybody come back. Uh, Wednesday night, the prayer meeting, the children's church and youth group, so remember that. 15th, so a week from tomorrow. We'll start Bible school, and that'll be 7 o'clock uh, every night, Monday through Friday. Uh, 
Again, classes for all ages, okay, from the babies all up to the not so babies, okay. Older babies. <laughs> Older babies. And a lot of babies. Well, <laughs> we've already preached, so we won't go there. But uh, classes for all ages. Uh, so invite somebody out. Uh, talk to somebody. Call them. Those of you that use your social media, put on there. Uh, we're having Bible school July 15th through the 19th. Yeah. Come out, be in prayer that week. Uh, be in prayer this week. Yes, that's right. Folks, be in prayer this week. Yes. Uh, pray that seeds will be planted. Yes. And folks, there's a lot of seeds that need planted. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of kids that need to, to know Christ. Yes. Or there's a lot of kids' parents. Yes, amen. That need to know Christ. Amen. All right. Any other announcements? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we will be collecting for Lerma that week, and uh, the can is back there. If it's easier for you to donate than to, to haul food in that week, uh, just drop your donation. We'll have somebody go pick it up at the end of the week. Uh, as always, we appreciate how good everybody is to give, and Lerma certainly appreciates it. All right, again, come back this evening. If nothing else, Danny, this must be good. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you once again. Thank you for this day. Thank yes. you for this service, Lord. Yes. We ask that you be with each and every one of us, Lord, as we go throughout the day. Give us some safe traveling mercy. Yes. Bring us back to Mexico. These favors we ask in your holy and sweet name. Amen. Amen. Amen.